hello uh, this is a sp.net web api tutorial part 5 in this part 5 tutorial i am going to explain you how to configure a web api project and what is the starting point of a web api project and where to configure the web api properties config properties so you can see here this is after creating a web api project these are the folders you will see in the uh, solution explorer and we can customize the behavior of web api by adding some uh, different properties of http configuration object such as uh, formatters filters dependency resolvers message handler and primitive binding rules parameter binding rules properties and services so here you can see in the project there will be app start folder the, in this app start folder there you will be webapi config.cs and this config.cs is responsible for the webapi configuration in that .cs file there will be a there will be a register method that register method uh, will be given to the global start as a callback function so upon starting the application that method will be called automatically here you can see global.asx file this will be called when the application starts and there are folders for controllers Now coming to the webp config class, uh, there will be a register method. Webp configuration process starts when the application starts. It it calls global configuration configure then webp config dot register. So here we are passing the. Uh, callback callback function and this is a static method in webapi config class so in the application start method this will be invoked and internally it will invoke the register method of webapi dot webapi config dot cs class register method the configure method requires a callback method and by default this is by default this is the static method i will show you also this method you can see here a webapi dot register method includes a parameter of http configuration type so http configuration is the main object where we are adding all the behaviors like message handler formatters resolvers the http configuration is the main class and it overrides the behavior of web api and this class is present in web.http namespace here you can see uh, there are some other properties of http configuration which we can configure under that method under the register method of web api config class these are dependency resolvers get or set the dependency resolver for dependency injection filters get or set the filter formatters as i have shown you in the last video get or set the media type formatters you can set it to json formatter or xml formatter like other properties message handlers binding rules properties routes and services here you can see my global.asx file this is the application start file and here the application start method will be executed upon starting the application and here i am passing global configuration dot configure web api config dot register here i am i am passing this callback function to the configure method of global configuration 
and this callback function is a static method which is present in web web api config.cs file you can see here this is the web api config file and this is a static method register and here http configuration object by default passed by the application and here we are setting the config properties http different different configurations for the application here we are specifying routes and map http attribute routes this map http attribute routes specifies the route method to a uh, to a public property to a public method where we are specifying the routes depending on that path the web service will be executed and here we are telling we are setting three properties name default api this is the default configuration for the controller api slash controller name slash id and here also we are telling default id is equal to optional parameter if you'll give id it will execute or also if if you won't give also it will execute so route template will tell the path so this is all for today but i'll show you a demo Uh, in my application you can see here uh, these are the config properties I am setting in the register method and here you can see my application start in the application start there is a web.config web api config file and this web api register method will be called from the global.asx and global.asx are the glo application start method and here we are passing the callback function so this is all for today the basic and uh, we'll show you the advanced concept in the next tutorial and if you want to get the video which is latest updated in web api you can subscribe my, to my channel and thanks for watching.